the research, right? But what if the research is just so boring and technical you just don't want to do it? Well, Bubble Maps reimagines blockchain data in a fun, interactive, playful way, all at a touch of a button. Allow me to introduce our CEO, Nick. Thank you, Cameron. Bubble Maps is fantastic because it allows you to analyze any token or NFT collection across multiple blockchains. Let's have a look at Uniswap as an example. What you can see on screen behind me are the top holders of Uni, each bubble corresponding to a wallet address holding their native token. But the best part about it, if there's been any Ethereum transfers between the wallets, their bubbles will be linked together. Then you can see inside of a token and reveal deeper connections between the wallets. There is a cluster here on Uniswap and when we click on show transfers, we can see how those wallets are connected. Wallet 33 sending two Ethereum respectively to wallet 51, 106 and 108. Let's have more fun, let's dig in. Instead of looking at the Ethereum transfers between the wallets, I wanna see USDC transfers. And here we go, we have two connected wallets here. So what can it be? And if we check on show transfers, we can see that 1.5 million has been sent from this wallet to FTX. So this is actually a seller who sold a quite, quite a decent amount of UNI token. Um, if we check now the, the USDT, you can see there is no connection in USDT. But the best part, let me show you the best part. If you check the UNI transfers, right? This shows how UNI is being circulating across the top holders. And here you can see it's getting way more interesting, right? Because there is a lot of connection of connections between the top holders. Um, now, Let's examine this further. If you click on the orange cluster, please, Cameron, and show the transfers, you can see that millions of UNI token has been sent from the center to the border. And to be precise, wallet number 38 has sent 2.5 million to 53, 2.5 million to 59, 2.5 million. In total, 30 to 40 million dollars of UNI token has been sent and similar patterns can be found with this, uh, the, 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 the pink cluster, for example, here, exactly, the pink here, and the green one, if you can, if you can show the transfers of the green one. Again, you can see that millions of UNI token has been sent from the center to the border. Now, what can it be? I'm not so sure, but I'm gonna show you an example that is extremely interesting. Let's go, please, Cameron, on requests, request token, which is a, a, an interesting project that we're in touch with. We've been in touch with them for a long time, and they were blown away when they saw their own bubble map. Let us see. Okay, so again, those are the top holders of REC, and connection between bubbles represent Ethereum transfers between the wallets. Not so much going on here, but... but if we check the native mode, which shows how REC token is being circulating across the top holders, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. So, let us try to understand what, what is happening here. We have a very symmetrical cluster with, at the center, one bubble being connected to between 50 and 60 different wallets. So if we manage to understand the center, we know exactly what's going on. Let's click on the center just to see. And here we have it. This is Coinbase hot wallet number two. So the bubbles connected to Coinbase are simply users who interacted with Coinbase, either buying or selling their token. But those are some large amounts here. <laughs> but the reason why they were blown away is because if you can please show to those gentlemen the, the wallet from Binance, even though there is more trading volume on Binance compared to Coinbase, well, you can see that actually more wallets are trading on Coinbase because there are more connected wallets to Coinbase rather than connected wallet on Binance. And for them, that was a super informative 
thing to know because then they can have more aggressive marketing campaigns toward it to Coinbase users. Now, with that being said, I want to show you the, the, one of the most powerful use cases of Bubble Maps. Cameron, please, could you please explain to them how to identify scams with Bubble Maps? Okay, so that's one of many use cases to Bubble Maps, but my personal favorite is definitely finding unsavory tokens, because we've all invested in DeFi projects, but we've never seen them like this before. So this was a very popular token on Binance Smart Chain. The token was called Baby Care, and we discovered it on the trending section of CoinMarketCap. So we go there for legitimacy, for kind of investing in the latest and greatest tokens. But using bu Bubble Maps, we can actually see that all the top holders are interwoven and interlinked in such an unsavory way. This is typical of wallet splitting. So 25% of the supply is actually held by one person split through a multiple connections of different wallets right here. And unfortunately, they ended up selling through all of these wallets, netting a profit of $400,000, bringing the price down to zero. So their intention was this all along. So really bad red flag here discovered thanks to Bubble Maps. Yay. Um, there is another one, of course. So you don't have to just search Binance Smart Chain Ethereum tokens. You can look at NFT collections too, because uh, wash trading is so bad in NFTs. Um, manipulating the volume to entice users to buy their NFTs. And this is Squiggles. I don't know if you've heard of NFT collection Squiggles. They got removed from OpenSea uh, for, for, being, uh, for, for having wash trading, basically. But by using Bubble Maps straight off the bat, we could tell that. We could tell that they were wash trading. Because if you can see here, the cluster between all the holders, all the investors, of the, all the owners of the NFT collection, all linked together, sending each other Ethereum backwards and forwards, really trying to heighten the volume and entice people in. Um, typical typical of, uh, of wash trading there. So a really, really uh, bad sign. So if you saw this first, you wouldn't invest into this NFT collection because of how they're going to fakely you know, mimic the volume here. So a bad example there. There we go. That was a bad example indeed, very frightening. Um, now, I want, to make it, I want to make this a bit interactive. So if there is any token in the audience or any NFT collection that you'd like to see, please raise your hands. I want to hear it. I want to hear it, any NFT collection or token that you'd like to see. We have, uh, we have. Yep. It would be lovely to see Shiba Inu, for example. Shiba Inu, all right, great choice. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see Shiba Inu, one of the most famous token on Ethereum, as we all know. All right, so there is not so much going on in the Ethereum mode where we can see Ethereum connection. There is here a connection between wallet number six and the other, it's going to be wallet number four. So wallet number four and wallet number six from Shiba Inu, they know each other because they send each other a large amount of Ethereum. Can I please see now the other modes, just to investigate this further? Oh, they're still connected in USDC. So this confirm our initial, our initial hypothesis. They are connected in 25 million. Reasonable amount, reasonable amount. Now, let's go to USDT. They're connected again. Oh, gee, wow, this is crazy. All right. And now let's go to the native mode. Oh my, this is getting complicated now. What I'm going to do just for the sake of this presentation, to keep it short, can you please hide the bubble at the center of the cluster? I think it's, well, it, um, yeah, this one, please. 73. Uh, let's hide this one for now. All right. So even if we hide this bubble, we can see that there are some bubbles connected in red, and they are cumulatively holding 10% of Shiba. So 10% of the total supply of SHIB is being held in a cluster of connected wallets, and they all belong in the top 20. What do you think is happening here? Are these top wallet colluded? Do they know each other? Do they belong to the same person? But what I know is that if this belongs to the same person, this could represent a terrible threat to this project valued 5 billion. All right, that was enough for the demo. Let's go back on the slides. It's now we're going to have a bit less fun, but hope, bear with me, bear with me. There is still a bit. Uh, can you go in the deck for a second? Yeah, this one and uh, 
click on the yellow button at the top. No. I don't think this is the one. How to put this in full screen? I, I don't know, actually. Can, but anyway, go to the slide number 10. No, the ball below, below, below. Yeah, the slide number 13, please. Can someone uh, put this in full screen? I'm sorry, I don't know uh, the, the play button. At, oh, yeah, the play, yeah, this one. Yeah. Awesome, th thank you so much. So now, how are we profitable? Trust is a huge component for achieving success in DeFi, and project owners are lining up to be added on our platform, showcasing transparency to potential investors. With 400 tokens already listed, and thousands of smart contracts created daily, the trend for blockchain security is only getting started. We're in touch with financial institutions, cybersecurity companies, exchanges to further their research and answer the growing demand for data. All right, all right. Um, due to our continued expansion and overall success, we've been approached by a number of blockchains, and I'm very proud to say We've, we're now endorsed by Phantom and Avalanche, and we'll have their blockchains on bubble maps very soon, so it's super exciting. And we're also, we also have been accepted into the first ever accelerator program by Crypto.com, an uh, intense 10-week course that showcases only the finest in blockchain innovation. So, I don't know, that's right. Um, we want to keep innovating indeed and grow bubble maps into a leading analytical platform for blockchain data. In order to achieve this vision, we are raising 3.3 million at $15 million valuation. This funding will help us build the next generation tool for institutions, compliance, security, investigations, just a couple of examples. This fundraising will be conducted through a hybrid mix between equity and token. As we're limited in time, please get in touch. I'd be happy to share more information. The best is truly yet to come. We want to further revolutionize blockchain data with historical bubble maps. This will allow any user, VC, companies, governments to rewind the tape and explore any token since its very inception. Imagine having a way to know who were the early investors of a token, who were the other VCs involved, when did they sell, and who were they connected with. Blockchain is about to become an open book with historical bubble maps. Look, I just want to finish by saying DeFi will never be the same again with bubble maps. And I encourage you now to explore your favorite tokens on a number of the dashboards bubble maps is on. So if, you're, if you like Dex, Dex tools, Dex screener, our, our iframes are on there right now, right next to the CoinGecko button, button. So before you invest, please look into this. Make sure you're not investing in a, in a rug pull, a scam, wash trading or anything like that. Um, but apart from that, thank you so much for having us, and uh, we'll be back soon, maybe next year. <laughs> are there any question, or if there's any other token, maybe, are we good on time? We're good on time. All right, perfect. All right, we have time for a question. Yes. I do have a question because yeah, I think it's wonderful how you're able to like, really get into, into like, searches specific to the community in your roadmap. Uh, do you, are you planning on doing like, reports of uh, different types of uh, NFTs and usually like looking for keywords and, and trying to see which are the top NFTs and let's go deep into that? Thank you so much for your question. So she was asking about reporting for specific NFTs or tokens. Let's say this is not directly on the roadmap. Our primary focus at the moment is building this tool for institutions. There are plenty of needs for institutions, wallet tracking, compliance, and I think there is a huge market and a huge demand for this. So this is where our priority is at the moment. Any other question or token you'd like us to investigate, please let us know. We're here. And if you, yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. How can we get a free payment class? 
Can we help you in the in the analyze data? Do the token holdings uh, renters for this? Um, so at the minute we've got a token backed by Bubble Maps. So if you wanted premium access, you can hold as little as 50 billion, which is, I think is around like 50 dollars or something like that. And then if you wanted full premium access, it's around like one BNB holding our token. But then you get to explore BSC, Ethereum, NFTs, all sorts. And if if you're a frequent DeFi trader, then it's it's really useful to kind of like have all this at one touch of a button. <laughs> any any other questions at all or anything? Thank you for the amazing presentation. Very well done, guys. Um, I, what other token is uh, Floki? Floki, yes. All right. All right. I think we have we have a couple of minutes, so we're gonna have a, we're gonna see Floki. Floki, a very popular Ethereum token, not a meme coin at all, right? It's a very utility token. I think it's the, whoa, 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 whoa. What the? What happened? All right. So this is, this is the bubble map of Floki, which is a very famous token on Ethereum. And as you can see, there are some connections here, but you, before like calling it a scam or anything, you always have to look for yourself and see what's going on, look behind the scenes. And then if we click on the bubble at the middle, we have our answer straight away. This is gate.io. So every, every wallet connected to gate.io or every bubble, are simply users who interacted with Gates, either selling or buying the token. So if you remove this one for a second, can you remove Gates? Oh, all right. This is looking a bit more clear now. But there are still some connections. Uh, there are still some connections, but this is looking decent. This is not alarming. This is pretty fine. Can you, can you just go to the other modes to, to check if there's anything suspicious here? USDC, nothing. USDT, barely. Oh, oh, all right. What's going on? I love this product so much. Uh, this is the deployer. And if you click on show transfers, I'm sure this is going to be only sent. Because the deployer is supposed to be sending tokens. And it's confirmed because it's only in red. So the deployer has only been sending Floki outwards. All well and good. Any other? Uh, I think we have exceeded our time though. It would be really cool if you could read projects like these. It's like, okay, so we did a little mind map, and now we have like an index of, um, you know, bad, good, great. That'd be really cool. Yeah, we, we'd love to have ratings integrating on Bubble Maps. Um, there are two ways of doing this, either manually by the team, which would require a lot of time, or automatically through like AI modeling. But this would take, this, this would need, this would be, we would need to hire some people to do this essentially. But this is a great idea. I'd love this. I'd love this to happen. All right. I think we've been like 20 minutes long. Thank you so much for listening. And please get in touch if you want to know more.